Hello, my name is Mooney and thank you for coming along today. We're going to do a bit of a yoga session here. We'll be doing some quite strong vinyasa flowing sort of postures with some big twists and one kind of difficult posture right at the end. But let's smash it, let's begin. Come onto your hands and knees. We'll start here. Fingers spread nice and wide, wrists under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips and point your toes. In this situation, cat cow breathing. Inhale, take the gaze up. Spine and belly drop down. Exhale, push the ground away. Take the gaze underneath. Keep going like that. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now that potentially is quite easy. Slightly harder version. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees off the ground. And keep the cat cow breathing happening. Just hovering your knees there. Looking up is quite hard with your knees hovering. If even that's a bit easy, try pointing your toes instead. Lift up on the tops of your feet. Inhale up. Exhale down. Either way, we just do three more. Try to really work into that breathing. Inhale up. Exhale down. Up. And exhale down. Finish just back neutral on your hands and knees. Keep your toes pointed. Extended puppy dog pose means you just stretch your arms out forwards. Chest and chin to the ground if you can manage. Or forehead down a little bit easier. Get stretched out. Even lift your feet up. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Big, big inhale, exhale, drop your feet, come back up onto your hands, tuck your toes under, exhale, downwards facing dog. Up into this down dog, a little step forwards with your feet. Feet can be hip distance apart, bit of space there. Do some walking on the spot, bend one knee, straight on the other. Then a bit of an active twist in the down dog, I'll do it facing this way. Let's reach your right arm underneath, grab your left leg and just look under your left arm. See if that's possible. Big, big inhale, exhale, right hand down. Do the other side, so left arm's underneath, grab your right leg and look underneath your right arm. Just one armed downward dog, if there is such a thing. Big inhale, exhale, both hands are back on the ground. Bend your knees, lutz, and either jump or step between your hands. Just nice straight legs, fingertips to the ground or hands on your shins. Take another breath there. Inhale, then exhale, fold down as far as you can, but interlace the fingers behind your back. Let's lift the arms off your back as you fold down. Slightly tricky balance here. We're going to try lifting your heels up, balancing on your tiptoes with the arms behind your back. Obviously release your hands real quick if you fall forwards. Keep your gaze on your feet or on a stationary point. Inhale, exhale flat footed. Release your hands and come all the way up to standing. Stretch up, little back bend. My hands might disappear off the screen here, but just press them together strongly as you lean back. Keep your legs straight. Then inhale upright, blink your eyes. Exhale forward, bending all the way down. Inhale, head up, nice flat back. And exhale, jump or step back to plank. Now in this plank, we're gonna try dropping onto the forearms. Forearms parallel, palms facing downwards. So like I said, we're gonna do some twisting today. And we'll warm up the twisting now. See if you can drop your pelvis to the left, drop your pelvis to the right. But just keep both forearms on the ground. Maybe go twice more to each side. We'll do a straight armed version of this later on. And then back to neutral in the centre, change back up onto your hands and exhale downwards facing dog, little step, hip distance between your feet. Down dog, inhale head up, bending both knees, jump or step between your hands, halfway lift, exhale to forward bend, inhale raise the arms up, just stretch straight up this time rather than back bending, exhale forward bend all the way down. Inhale head up, flat back. Exhale, jump or step back to plank. So the straight armed version of that rotation. Let's try glue your feet together, tip onto the right side. See your left foot's off the ground. Just hold it two breaths. It's quite strenuous on your right side of your body. It's all right. And now exhale, tip onto the other side. See so your feet are stacked, left foot down, right foot's on top. 
Inhale, exhale, change back to feet parallel and slow, high plank to low plank. And just stay in low plank for a moment. Often we rush or miss out low plank and go straight to upwards dog. But to help us not miss out this pose, see if you can push back to high plank again. And just try it more, well, twice more. Come down to low plank, it's nice and slow, no rush. Maybe touch your chin to the ground and then push, 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 push back to high plank. One more, come down to low plank. Hold for breath. Push back to high plank. And then downwards facing dog, tiny step forwards. Bit more twisting, inhale, raise your right leg high, bend your knee, let the foot drop to the left side. Look underneath your left arm. Try and see the foot up in the air. Just one more breath. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, step between your hands and twist by right arm up to the ceiling. Inhale to stretch up. See if you can look up towards your thumb. Inhaling, exhale, right hand down to the big toe side of the foot. Left arm up to the ceiling. Even the stretch, you might look downwards, sideways, or up at your left hand. Keep your back leg straight. Inhale, exhale, both hands down. Go one either side of the front foot. Step back to plank. And high plank, low plank. <laughs> Inhale, up dog. Point your toes. Nice. Straight arms. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards. Left side. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Bend the knee. Foot drops to the right. Try not to let your right leg twist around as well. Keep your right foot pointing forwards. And maybe look under towards the left foot. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, step between your hands. And then left arm up to the ceiling. Stretch up, look up to your thumb. Inhale, exhale, left hand down. Big toe side of the foot, right arm up to the ceiling. It's easier to look up on this side. Big, big inhale, exhale, right hand down, one either side of the front foot, and stepping back to plank. Drop back to your forearms again, the forearm plank with your uh, fingers into lace this time, elbows under your shoulders. And now come forwards onto your tiptoes. Let's go maybe chin to your thumbs. Exhale, push back, head between your elbows. This time come a bit further forwards, maybe chin to the ground in front of your fingers. Exhale, push back, head between your elbows. Just do it twice more. Inhale forwards and exhale back. Inhale forwards, a good warm up for the next posture. And then exhale back, separate your hands now, go forearms parallel, and let's walk your toes in towards your elbows. Lift your hips up, see if you can get flat footed with your hips lifted. Two breaths to go, flat footed is quite hard. One breath to go. Inhale, exhale, walk your toes away again. Back to forearm plank, change up onto your hands to hand plank. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards, right leg, inhale, raise the right leg high, bend the knee. Foot drops to the left, we're twisting, flip right over. Right foot to the ground, right arms over your head. Palm facing upwards or fingers pointing downwards. Two breaths to go. And inhale, back over again. Right hand to the ground, right leg to the ceiling. Then the twist, bring the right leg underneath the left leg. And just a simple side plank. Now your right leg's sticking out beside you. Stretch your left arm up. Slightly harder version. Reach down and grab your right foot. And hold the foot up in there. Just balancing on your right arm and your left foot otherwise. Big, big inhale. Exhale, release your hand back to the ground again. Raise the right leg up behind you and step between your hands. Come up to a high lunge this time. Palms touching. Ideally, bend your front leg heaps. If that's not possible, straighten your back leg heaps. Kind of gives you the same experience. Inhale and exhale. Hands to the ground, step back to flank. Let's flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog, point your toes. Exhale, downwards facing dog. And other side, inhale, raise your left leg high. Bend the knee, foot drops to the right. Let's flip over. Left foot down, left arms over your head. Palm facing upwards. Fingers pointing down to the ground. Mm -hmm. 
Inhaling back over again. Left hand to the ground, left leg to the ceiling. And then we'll stretch the left leg underneath your right leg and tip onto your left side. Do it around this side so you can see. Tipping onto your left side. Oh, and I've just lost my mic. That's all right. See if you can. See if you can, reach down and grab your left foot. Lift it up in the air, even bring the shin towards your forehead. Imagine you had to stay there 20 minutes. That'd be horrendous. Big, big inhale as you exhale. We release the foot, hand to the ground, raise the left leg high. Step between your hands, but watch out for your mic. Come up to balance with your palms touching. Remember the lunge, we're trying to get really low, as if you're holding heavy weights in your hand, but you're trying to straighten the back leg. Nice extension into your spine. We'll be doing some twisted versions of this soon, but big inhale, exhale, hands to the ground, and just step back to plank. Let's flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale up dog, point your toes. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Nice, inhale, raise your right leg super high, step between your hands, first hit, come up to balance, palms together. It's called Anjali Mudra when your palms touch. Let's twist to the right side. Left elbow down, right elbow up. Push strong down with your right hand so the palms come to the center of your chest, not just floating around all over the place. But it's a bound posture. We try and separate the hands, left hand to the ground, right arm straight up. Or left arm underneath and join hands behind your back. Make sure you can still breathe so you're twisting and pretty strong with your front leg as well. Then release your hands, palms together again looking forwards. Bring your torso upright and then stretch your arms up to the ceiling. See if you can bend your front leg even more. Reach back like you're going to grab your left foot. But that's really hard. Inhale, bring yourself upright, blink your eyes. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step your right foot back, but keep it raised. And just nice and slow, high plank, low plank. Then drop your foot, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards. Other side, inhale, raise your left leg super high. Exhale, step between your hands. Come up with your palms touching first. Get nice and low, get your front, your thigh parallel to the ground. And twist to the left side. Hook your right elbow. Elbows point opposite directions, not kind of the same direction. Separate your hands. Right hand down, left hand up. Try and avoid your back knee buckling. Just lock that leg out. And then, thread your right arm underneath. You need to help the right arm underneath, especially if you're right-handed. The right arm doesn't go there naturally. Join the hands. Keep your back leg straight. It's two breaths to go. Then release your hands. And now bring yourself upright again. Palms to touch, check you've got your balance. Tip toes of the back foot. Inhale, crescent lunge, stretch the arms up. Bend the front leg a little more. You might as well try and avoid being high up like this. Just sink down like anything. Nothing to lose really. Two breaths to go. One breath to go. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, hands to the ground, step back. Same drill as the other side. Leave the leg in the air. High plank to low plank, nice and slow. Then drop your foot, inhale up dog, pointed toes. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Inhale, head up, raise the right leg high again. Step between your hands. This time we're coming up to warrior one. So turn that back heel in. Inhale, warrior one means press your palms. This is a back bending posture also. So look up. Don't just kind of round and look forwards. It's only short, inhale, worry one, exhale, worry two. Worry two, classic, strong yoga posture. Bend your front leg, challenge your front leg. We're gonna turn warrior two into a wide-legged triangle pose. Inhale, straighten the front leg completely. Lean out to the right, exhale, right hand down and left hand up. Generally, your big toe is too far to grab here because your feet are much wider apart than a normal triangle. Let's try getting that shape. If you want to get lower, you could go flat hands to the ground. Look up at your left hand. Two breaths to go. Big stretch for your hamstrings on your right leg. 
take a big inhale here as you exhale, bring the left hand down. Now here's a bit of a challenge, I need to turn around for this one. Here's a bit of a challenge, bring your left hand down, maybe to the outside edge of that front foot, and then take the right hand up, both legs straight, twisted triangle pose. This is called Parivrita Trikonasana. And it's pretty strong to stretch on your front leg. Big, big inhale, last posture on this straight leg, bring both hands down, either onto your leg, or if you reach the ground, go for the ground, folding over your right leg. Engage your quads like anything, don't let your kneecap and your, your muscles just troop down, fire them up. And quite a difficult exit here, we need to maybe bring your hands a little bit further forwards, eventually, and we're going to push up to a standing split. So standing split, ideally your left foot points to the ceiling, but that's really hard, I can't do it. Take hold of your right leg with your right hand, and lift your left leg as high as you can go. Big, big inhale here, exhale, we're just going to drop back into the split, so tip toes of the back foot, then the knee, and then just straighten your front leg out. Now splits may not be your thing, you may not do it every day, that's okay. Just try and get your right foot forwards, your left foot backwards. If you want a bit slightly stronger version, point your back toes and lift the knee up off the ground. That's definitely a stronger version. We'll just stay three breaths, not all day here. This is just helping us with our stretching and the twisting will come stronger in a moment. Big inhale, exhale, drop the back knee down if it's lifted. See if you can bring your front foot back in again without rolling your mat up. Back to hands and knees, fingers spread wide. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards to the other side. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, step between your hands, warrior one. Turn the right heel in. Inhale, stretch up, remember we're back bending. So look up towards your hands. Bend your front leg lots. One more breath. Inhale, worry one. Exhale, worry two. Try and make your transition quite powerful but smooth. Bring the arm right next to your right ear as you stretch out. Torso's upright. Bend your left leg a little more. It shouldn't be a resting pose here. It should be pretty strong. Then inhale, straighten the left leg. If it doesn't straighten completely, bring the back foot a little bit closer but probably will straighten. Lean left, left hand down, right hand up, triangle pose. Once again, if the ground's too close, just go flat handed. Stretching, twisting, sorry, look up at your right hand. There's two breaths to go. Inhale, exhale, remember the revolving triangle, the twisted, bring your right hand down, maybe to the little toe side of the foot and then stretch the left arm out. Now this is a really wide-legged version of this. That's okay, it just makes it a bit harder. Stretch the left arm up, maybe you can look up or look outwards. Look up at your hand. Inhaling, exhale both hands down to the forward bend, so you could be on your legs or on the mat and just fold forwards over your left leg. And then next inhale, we'll push forwards to standing split. So you might be hands back a bit, and then push them forwards as you come up, holding your standing leg with your left hand. Maybe flat down with your right hand if you can reach. Bend the raised leg a bit. Inhale, exhale, we're dropping into the split. So land on your right tiptoes and the back knee, straight in the front leg out. I like getting my left heel onto the carpet or the floor, helps you stretch a bit more. Point the back toes, see if you can lift the knee up. And then push out further into your left leg. Just stay three more breaths. Big, big inhale, then exhale, dropping the back knee. Bring your left leg back in again. And toes sucked underneath, let's exhale up to downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards. 
fingers spread nice and wide, even spreading your shoulder blades away from your spine. You can lift your toes off the ground if your heels make it down. Then inhale, head up, bending your knees. Jump or step between your hands. At the front of the mat, we've got nice straight legs, flat back. Exhaling to fold down. And then we're inhaling into squat. I'll do it at this end. Inhale into squat. Bend your knees, heaps. Raising the arms up. Because there is a twisting theme today, we're going to twist our squats. Palms together, let's go to the right side. Left elbow down. And right elbow up. Try and make it not like a forward bend. We're not just folding over. We're trying to squat, trying to bend your knees as much as you possibly can. Palms to the center of your chest. Then separate your hands. Left hand down, right hand up. If you can, stand on your hand with your right foot. Put the fingers underneath your foot. Then release the left hand if it's under the foot. Bring your palms together looking forwards and actually stretch up back into the squat. Weights back into your head to the heels, hips go backwards. Then inhale, palms together again. We'll twist around to the left hand side with your right elbow down, left elbow up. Remember, press down with your left hand to get the twist. Palms come to the center. Or separate your hands, right hand down, even underneath your left foot. And then bring your palms together again. Inhale, stretch up into the squat. So just on the squat for the last time, sit down a bit lower. See if you can, it's called measuring out your squat. See if you can touch the ground with your fingertips and then raise your arms up from there, rather than being high up like this. Do it one more time, check the ground is within, within reach and then I'll just lift the arms straight up. Flexing your shoulders to lift the arms. Big, big inhale. Exhale, straight legs to forward bend. Last time, inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, jump or step back to plank. High plank, low plank. Inhale up, dog, point your toes. Chest comes through between your arms. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Hand from your down dog, inhale, head up, bend your knees, step to the middle of your mat to a seated position with your legs extended out in front. So sitting up nice and tall here, Dandasana. Legs squeeze together, toes pull back towards you. Hands on the mat next to your hips. So we've got our, the tricky posture I said coming up soon. But we need to do a little bit of stretching more for that. So bring your palms together. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale, fold out and over your straight legs. Take hold of where you can reach. Don't try and stretch your arms up by your ears. Make sure you can get your head above your arms. And then exhaling to fold down over your straight legs. If the arms can help you a bit here, but you want your abdominal muscles to be driving the, the driving force to pull forwards, you should better take your arms away and just stay where you are. Then we'll try, take hold of just your right leg. It might even be your right big toe if you can reach that far. Lift the leg up in the air, or you can hold one hand high, one hand low, or maybe even your foot. And inhale to sit nice and tall, exhale, we're folding down towards that raised leg. The knee might buckle a bit, we might be able to lock it out, see what's possible. This is a good shaking posture if you, if you find a spot where you shake, that's all good. It's just the new muscles working. Big inhale, exhale, follow the leg back to the ground again. And then grab the other side, lift the leg up, either foot or knee or big toe, whatever you can reach. Big, big inhale, then exhale, drop the leg to the ground. Okay, the slightly harder posture, I'll turn front on so you can see. And we'll do the right leg first, let's take the right leg and bend it, and hold the knee and the ankle and just circle the leg around. This posture is called Astavakrasana. And it's not this one, but the one we're just about to do. Circle the other way with your leg. So it's got two parts. First part, three parts. What we're going to do is try and get your bent leg up on top of your right shoulder. And just squeeze it down against your arm. And just flex your foot a lot. Hands on the mat. If you can get to that stage, you can lift your pelvis. And then your straight left leg as well. And just hover the hands down, left leg extended. 
and then drop back to the mat. Try the other side. It's a good time to get cramped if you like getting cramped. Bend your left leg, circle that leg around. And circle it around the other way. Let's get nice and warm in here. Now this brush is a little bit hard if you're a bit slippery, if you're sweating a bit, but anyway, have a go. Get the leg up on top of your shoulder, flex the foot, hand on the ground. It's just a case of lifting your pelvis and straighten your right leg. Inhale, and exhale back to the ground. Now the full version is actually easier. Go back to your right leg, lift it up, get it up on your shoulder, no lifting now. All you do is flex the foot, cross your ankles, and then just push forwards. Your hips automatically lift, and your legs go out beside you. You might be able to hover your head off the ground, or rest your chin down if it gets a bit wild. But straighten your legs as much as you can. Keep breathing, smiling, talking, whatever. And now bring yourself up, sit down, ah, send the legs out, do the other side. So grab your left leg, bring it up, get it up onto your shoulder, and then flex your foot, hands down, just cross your ankles. And the challenge is, oh, don't fall backwards. Challenge is push forwards and stretch the legs out wide. Out to the left side, maybe chin hovering off the ground. This side's a little bit harder, I think, so maybe it's easier for you if you're doing the mirror image. <laughs> And inhale, bring yourself upright, sit down, and send the legs out long and straight again. Okay, this way. Just into a little forward bend, just to relax before we lie down. <sighs> then inhale, bring yourself upright again. Release your feet or your legs, whatever you had. Let's try lying down with your legs bent, but your right leg crossed up on top of the left leg. If you reach between your thighs, interlace behind your left thigh, it's just a pigeon pose on your back. See if you can pull the bent knee towards your chest, even hold the shin. Just nice kind of relaxing, stretching postures near the end of the session. And then try the other side, just swap legs, left legs up on top, either grabbing the right shin or the behind your right thigh. And then releasing the right leg. Go soles of the feet together, let your knees just drop out to the side. A little butterfly action with your legs. Bounce them up and down, rock around a bit side to side. And your final little twist will come now. Send your legs out long and straight. And then, this way. Send your legs out long and straight. Hug your right knee in. Pull that knee to the right side. Oh, better watch out for my microphone. Pull your knee out to the right side. And stretch your right arm the other way. Pull your knee to the left side, sorry, and stretch your right arm out the other way. Even bend your left leg, grab the foot behind your back using your right hand. Then I'll look up towards the ceiling, send your legs out long and straight, try the other side, left knee comes in, pull it to the right, got to correct that time, bend your right leg and grab the foot with your left hand. Especially important to keep your left shoulder down as well. Don't lift yourself up just to get the foot. Better if you don't grab the foot and keep the shoulder on the ground. Seeing as I can't see what you're doing, I'll have to give you all the options. <laughs> and then from here, release the foot, release your legs, send your legs out long and straight. And let's come to the final Shavasana, our final relaxation which ideally you can stay as long as you can. Lying here, relaxing, breathing. Ah, no rush. But I'm going to leave you to take your Shavasana in peace. Thank you so much for coming today and doing a yoga session with me. Don't forget Yoga with Mooney. We smash it out all the time. See you next time. Namaste.